Hello, this will be a very short video on how to do the Euler's method on Mathematica. Um, I'll assume that this is a differential equation we're trying to, with solution we're trying to approximate. This is the expression for Euler's function. If you've got more than two arguments in your function, you can just keep adding those. That's your step size and the interval for which we look for which um, we're trying to find the solution. Obviously, right, doesn't matter. So the first thing we want to do is define our function. Um, let's call it x. You can call it whatever you want since we have two arguments, x and y. We'll pass two arguments in the function. Um, colon equals x plus y. And I'm going to suppress that and run it. Right, then we'll call our step size h and we'll define that as 0.2 as per spec. And the interval will have u, the lower bound, as 0. And we'll have the upper, uh, actually, the lower bound should have been l to avoid confusion. We can rerun that and we can have the upper bound as u as 0.6. Right, so to see the number of steps, all we have to do is subtract the upper bound from the sorry, the lower bound from the upper bound and divide by the number the step size h. And the number of steps should be three and voila. But unfortunately this three is a floating point and for what I'm going to use it for I need it to be an integer. Let me show you what I want to use it for. Right, we've seen that we have three steps meaning three x values before we get to all right well the 0 0.6 value will be the third value so what we want is we want to store the initial values as well actually i didn't write the initial conditions yeah let's assume that y at zero is equal to two so in order to store the initial value we should define an array with not three but four elements so that the first element stores the initial value for both x and y so i would do that i don't know who the hell is texting me at this hour people don't sleep it's 10 p.m already so how we do that is we define x constant array um, open a square brace and we tell it that we want zeros in this array and we want n plus one elements. We should get an error, like I said. We can't pass a floating point in the function constant array, so we need to change this into an integer. Now we do that is we use a function called integer part. Mm, just type there integer part, integer part, there we go. And you can rerun that, and now if we run this, you should get our array there with four elements so i'm just going to suppress that and i'll do the same for y as well I'm just going to change that x to a y and voila right but the y the first y element is not zero it's actually two so we need to tell mathematica that that the first element of the y array is actually two now if we pass y, we'll see that 2 has been indeed updated, it has indeed been updated. Right, and what's next is, all we have to do is work out the Euler solution or do the Euler, the Euler approximation. That guy's name is so confusing, wonder why his parents gave it to him, doesn't matter. Anyway, how we do that is because we don't want to do it one by one, we'll use a for loop. And the for loop will have, well, we'll start at i equals 1, and we'll end at i is equal to, less or equal to n, and i will increment once at a time. Um, our n, like I said, is 3 over here, because we have 3 steps. So for every step, we want this to work out a y solution. That's why I made it less or equal to, it'll stop when n equals 3. Therefore, y, and we'll store that value at the fourth element of the y array. Hope that makes sense. Right, so comma, open curly brace. That's not mandatory, but I just like putting it there. 
and then just rewrite that formula um, y but because we used our counter as i we're not going to use an n there because our counter is i so we'll call i plus one equals the initial value which is just y i or the previous value if you want to call it that plus h times um, the function evaluated at these two arguments x at i and y at i and we can close the function right so what this beta code does is let's assume that i is 1 when i is 1 we'll be working out y2 so it'll take the initial value of y which is stored there as that 2 and the initial value of x and y here and pass it in that function which is 0 and 2 respectively then work out what the next y value should be and when i is 2 it'll take whatever value it was stored that was stored here which we worked out in the previous iteration put that there and so on and so forth it's not that difficult <clears throat> but we need to tell Mathematica that hey now update your step go to the next point for x as well so we'll tell it that x at i plus h sorry plus, um, plus one that is the next x in the next store the next x value in the next point in the next element of the array so let me do this so that you can have a picture of what I'm talking about the first x value or the initial value is going to be stored here the second one which will be um, not point two will be there third one not point four and the six and the last one not point six will be over there and this is what we're telling it that keep on adding 0 0.2 to x so but I'm not going to write 0 0.2 because I've already called it h and that's it that's your Euler and now to see your solution just pass y initial value y at 2 y at 3 and y at 4 oh. the value of y when x is equal to 0 0.6 and that's it um, like and subscribe if you have questions put them in the comment section